The following identities are important in vector calculus. Operator notations. Gradient gradient of a tensor field of order n is generally written as n is a tensor field of order n plus 1. In particular, if the tensor field has order 0, the resulting gradient is a vector field. Divergence The divergence of a tensor field of non-zero order n is generally written as n is a contraction to a tensor field of order n minus 1. Specifically, the divergence of a vector is a scalar. The divergence of a higher order tensor field may be found by decomposing the tensor field into a sum of outer products, thereby allowing the use of the identity, where is the directional derivative in the direction of multiplied by its magnitude. Specifically, for the outer product of two vectors, curl for a three-dimensional vector field, curl is also a three-dimensional vector field generally written as, or in Einstein notation as, where epsilon is the Levice of eta symbol. Laplacian for a tensor field, the Laplacian is generally written as, and is a tensor field of the same order. Special notations in Feynman subscript notation, where the notation B means the subscriptive gradient operates on only the factor B. A less general but similar idea is used in geometric algebra where the so-called Hestine's overdote notation is employed. The above identity is then expressed as where overdose define the scope of the vector derivative. The dotted vector, in this case b, is differentiated while the a is held constant. For the remainder of this article, Feynman subscript notation will be used where appropriate. Properties Distributive properties Product rule for the gradient The gradient of the product of two scalar fields and follows the same form as the product rule. In single variable calculus, Product of a scalar and a vector quotient rule chain rule vector dot products where yar denotes the Jacobian of A. Alternatively, using Feynman subscript notation as a special case, when A equals B, vector cross product second derivatives, curl of the gradient The curl of the gradient of any twice differentiable scalar field is always the zero vector. Divergence of the curl The divergence of the curl of any vector field A is always zero. Divergence of the gradient The Laplacian of a scalar field is defined as the divergence of the gradient. Note that the result is a scalar quantity. Curl of the curl here, too, is the vector Laplacian operating on the vector field A. Summary of important identities. Addition and multiplication. Differentiation gradient. Divergence, curl, second derivatives, third derivatives, integration below, the curly symbol means boundary of, surface volume integrals in the following surface volume integral theorems, V denotes of 3D volume with a corresponding 2D boundary S equals V, curve surface integrals in the following curve surface integral theorems, S denotes a 2D open surface with a corresponding 1D boundary C E equals S. Integration around the closed curve in the clockwise sense is the negative of the same line integral in the counterclockwise sense.